All right, well tonight the CDC is out with new guidance to states about how to get students back into the classroom safely. They include mask wearing, physical distancing, hand washing, cleaning facilities and contact tracing. Meanwhile, in South Carolina, the state superintendent says as soon as legislators allow teachers to be vaccinated, they will be ready to go. Molly Spearman has been pushing to get all students back to in person learning five days a week. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris joins us with more on when that could happen in the Palmetto State. Good evening. Well, right now the South Carolina House and Senate are deciding on bills that would move teachers up to group 1A and Spearman says not only do they need to be prioritized like this, they've already been putting plans in place to make it happen. And I fully believe that we will be ready to go when the vaccine arrives for teachers. South Carolina Superintendent Molly Spearman says while North Carolina's teachers have been prioritized for the vaccine, her teachers are still in limbo. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm anxious to see our teachers get that same. Um, opportunity. Spearman says they've wasted no time ensuring it can happen quickly. Every school district in the state has been matched with a provider. Spearman says now districts are working on specific plans based on their size and location. Some folks may have to get in their car and drive to a location. Others may have it delivered for them right where they work in their building. So all of those plans are going on right now. Spearman says the vaccine would be critical to returning students to class five days a week successfully, though the CDC just announced today in person schooling can be done safely with or without it. It certainly confirms what we've been saying since the start of the school year that students need to be in physical classrooms. Joe Burke with the Fort Mill School District says having vaccines would prevent constant quarantines when there is an infection. Yes, that is one of the biggest problems is when you do have a positive case with contact tracing, the quarantining ends up being high. And if we're in a five day model, it would probably be even higher. For now, Burke says moving to five days still depends on the COVID metrics in the district and community, but they are prepared to do it, and the vaccinations would be a positive step. We will be ready. The minute we're told, hey, we got it for you, that we'll be ready to get our teachers involved in this. Spearman says that even if the districts are able to move to five days a week soon, parents will still be given the option for their children to learn virtually. Here in South Carolina, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.